All right, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Mind Test Gameplay of Swords. Yes, indeed. And we're going to go check out the new restaurant. So let's go. And if you like what you see here, um, please consider liking and su subscribing. <laughs> Greatly appreciated. Take a ride down the fire pole. Just love doing that. I don't know why. It is oddly satisfying. Look, it's a beautiful night. Yes. Yes, it is. Look it off in the distance. Cool. It's the, um, the start of the new exclusive restaurant. And there it is. Boy, I'm lagging already. Look at that. That's a that's a screenshot moment right in the beginning of the video. <laughs> Got it. With the moon and everything. So um let's go take a, a quick look at how I done did this. And ugh. Hi, Mr. Tree. Um, I still have a lot of tweaking to do on it. It is, um, the proportions are okay. And it's getting there. I'll turn on the daylight in a second. I should have done that. Should have done that earlier. Exactly. Yeah, in the last video, I had a problem with sound. It turned out to be the mute auxiliary 3-4 channel on my mixer. It's, it's like 15 years old. It's a Behringer 1604 mixer, and it had a dirty switch, which was killing one channel. Look at that. All right, enough, enough of that. Let's um, fly through some trees again. And go take a look at this bad boy. Cool. And I it was very important to get this overhang because of the um the great scenery. So I I did that. I already came up the stairs. Now I gave everybody motion sickness. And we come up. So when you're standing, when you're standing at ground level. When, when, when you're standing at ground level, it looks pretty proportionate. You don't get that huge roof. And that's because of the dark colors. But the dark colors were chosen because, look at that, I got opening doors. Wow. I can't find, I needed a door that had the, the, um, the black tint because all the windows are blacked out. So that was just done with the gate controller. As usual, over here is going to be a nightclub. And I have to figure out a way of partitioning that. This is going to be a stage. And I'm not sure how it's going to look if I take this out by, by three or four blocks and tie it in with the roof. Um, I don't want to take away from the restaurant. So this whole area here will be like a nightclub, which should look okay. Come around the backside here. This is where you have the awesome views and just a waiting patio. Patrons can come out here, have drinks. There's no, I could put some tables out here, I guess. And like these are the high money seats, except for that glass distorts the views so that's the that's the ground floor and like right here is going to be i've always had a eh, this is where i chose to have it right here this is inside here is the kitchen which i'll get to in a second but out here this is going to be a table area but it's where the chef comes out and cooks it for you hibachi style because I, I love like um, uh, Benihana, 
and those type of restaurants where they come out and cook. So I haven't figured out what I'm going to do about the insert here, what kind of material. The floor obviously is not going to stay the same. I am going to use a different floor material. I just don't know what I'm going to put down yet. I don't want to use this. I used this in a previous build. There's a couple different um, block patterns that I can use. And hmm, I just figured out an easy way of figuring that out. So to make all, obviously you can see all the, the rings that were used in this. I'll show you that in a second because that's, that's kind of cool. And that's how I'm going to do the floor because the floor is going to be actually like a racetrack going all the way around. All you have to do is you have to find your center point, which I took out because I just came up with that idea. However, the center point, here's the center, this center block or this center here, here, and here, where they match up or join will be the center. And then I can do some pretty, pretty cool things. I know this ring is eight. And this ring is 10. And the farthest most ring is 21. So that's how I did that. Now I, I do have to figure out a way. And I'm, I'm working on some lighting ideas. There's going to be a main chandelier where this light is. When you come in. But this is one of the lighting styles that I want to carry out. And I was testing these out. These lights. For possible lighting styles and that's going to be all spaced out throughout here and then tables going on the outside however i have a problem with i can't get too close and i see that one works but if you use whole block they connect so i wonder if my idea because i can't use my main chairs this is a tech. Oh. If anybody knows how to make L panes or X panes not connect, or if I could whitelist or blacklist, that would be greatly appreciated. If anybody knows how to do that, I got to look at the code again because that's my only complaint about these windows is that I don't want them to connect. And I don't want to sit here and do the, um, do the trick on every single window, which is you do this and then you go in here and then you can move the region by one. Oh no. Oh yeah, it worked. So if I come back and I love world edit. Now you can see they didn't connect. But to do that on every single one, and then when you, you know, you make a mistake and you have to move it, it kind of defeats the purpose. So there's, there's got to be a way of doing it. I know, I know in certain materials, um, in certain materials, it will not connect. And I know in like Minecraft, their windows will not connect to a stair. So I'm not sure how big the tables are going to be yet, whether they're going to be two or four seating up here. This is the exclusive area. So when you come up here, I'm going to have a, a, a wraparound stairway. I, I haven't figured out how to make that yet. So this up here is going to be like, um, Banquet style, there's going to be a couple long tables and some fancy, you know, railings and stuff like that. And you can see this, the massive skylight with the support structure, the, the sun. <laughs> yes. And there's going to be an elevator off of over here. There's going to be an elevator going down to there so people can get up. It's going to be uh, accessible uh, for all patrons. And the floor here is going to change too. However, I have to be careful because, oh, there's another way. Here's the center. So the 
I might as well mark that now. The floor here, that's the center block. Cool. Put a fire pole there. There. Figured that one out. So, <laughs> the, um, yeah. That will do it. The floor here, all the floors are going to be changed. However, because this floor, I can't really take away from it. I'm going to have to create a custom block for that. Unless I, unless I use a floor where I don't mind where the floor and ceiling will show through. So one of the, one of the cool things is this is eight. So let's say I want a two ring gap. Hmm. I do want to do that. So if we come out here, I just want to make sure that these line up. Cool. So how I how I did this with all the rings, you mark your you mark your ring. And but I don't want to do that. I'll tell you why in a second. I want to go down one. So we go down one because what this is going to do is it's going to actually uh, put you'll see you'll see it put in the floor. So I look up because I still can't figure out what X I I have a I don't know my memory is going nowadays. <laughs> so so we we want um, a cylinder with a radius of do I want you know what I'm gonna figure that out real quickly here. Show you how I this is so cool. So if I go here, that's ten. I want to try 11 because everything can be fixed. So go back into world edit. The radius is 11. It's one. We're going to replace it with, and you have to be careful on this because I tried doing um, a different block and it gave that kind of strange um, slab. And we are going to do a hollow cylinder. Now it should, it added 72 and you can see, look at that. We have, we have the border of my racetrack. Now it, I should have really figured this out because I want tables over here, but th this is real easy to, you know, so this is 11, 12, let's go. What I should have done was went 13 and 15. So we are going to go back here just, just because we're going to go 13 and 15. So what this has done is it's created, it's created like a racetrack effect. Now I can come back in here real quickly and get rid of this. If I can position my position my mouse and it's already get, I've already been recording for wow I cannot make a video under 30 minutes sorry but I'll turn the lights on in a second here this will be cool so this is going to add some cool effects I'm hoping for now the reason why I use that cylinder tool. I wanted to make a circular restaurant. So I have many, I have found many tutorials on, oh, I'm back at the, wow, cool. I have found many tutorials. <laughs> I can't find the doorway. I want to go back. I want to do, um, one more, I want to do 14. Bam. Yes, look at it. So now I'm going to change this material and adapt it. But this is going to be sort of like the aisle, the, the aisle way, the racetrack around here. And it's real easy to fix, you know, if you don't like it. So 
Obviously, this is not going to be the material that I'm going to use. But here is going to be the front that front counter area. So people walk in, there's going to be couches here to sit because there's always going to be waiting. This is a six star restaurant. Yes, I know there's no such thing. It's five stars, but this restaurant is so good. It's going to be a six star restaurant. <laughs> so, and over here, obviously, this is not going to carry the same theme over in the little concert area. So I can blot that out. I just haven't figured out where I'm going to put partitions yet. This is an idea. A diagonal partition off of this main. To come into the nightclub. Actually, I just figured it out. So I can do something. Now I just have to make it work. Because it's all round. And I want seating here. There's, this is going to be the bar where you order, you could order your beverages. And then I still don't know if this is going to work. I only have to come out a little bit for, to create like a backstage area. However, I don't want to interrupt the, you see that that's not bad. So that figures that out. And it doesn't have, like I said, it doesn't have to be very deep. It's just, as a matter of fact, that'll be perfect because I'm going to put some scaffolding across here, uh, put some lights up and I've been to many nightclubs especially in my days of working for bands, mixing sound, where uh, we, we played some pretty small venues. There's, there's a time when the guitarist in the band was putting on a show for the audience, which was a whole 10 people. <laughs> this girl walks up to the stage and well, ladies, you know, because it's 21. This was, this was an Irish type pub in, in Chicago and some Irish name on it. And, um, and I'm going to have to elevate this. Hmm. I'll figure that out when I get to it. So, what ended up happening was, he gets into this guitar solo, <laughs> and uh, he thinks that this lady is really getting into this guitar solo, and it turns out, after the song was over, she, she goes to him, he, he like says, hi, how you doing? Enjoying the show? She goes, I would if you'd move out of the way of the cigarette machine, and that kind of killed it right there. So, <laughs> yes, I want to take this out because I need the height. Now, I can do one of two things. I can, and this is what I should have done. I ended up going with a small roof from home decor here. So I need this one, and I need this one, and I need that one. Cool. So what we are going to do is see if I can tie this in. It's got to come. Oh, I know what I did wrong. I know what I did wrong. Because this overhangs. All right, and this, I was going to do like, um, sort of like a tutorial step by step and went, mm, no, and I spent about three hours trying to get this roof just right and going around it. 
and making sure that everything lined up. And it turned out fantastic. However, it was, it was not the easiest of ropes. Because all the, what ends up happening is everything starts melding together. And this is why I use these helper blocks. Everything started melding together to the point where I couldn't, you, you your eyes would just, you, they couldn't focus after a while. And you'd start, oh, I did. The, come on. Everything would start just uh, blurring, trying to make it work. And this is where I have one of these. We're going to tie it in. Yes, I flew through a tree again. Okay, now the, now for the, the, that was the easy part. So we take this out and we are going to need No, we don't need anything because that'll that fits right in. However, this goes bye-bye. I want oh, cool. And I'll explain why in a second. Okay. I wonder if I could take that out. That'll give me the room that I so desire for this stage. Yes, I can. However, I don't want to take that out. All right. Now to figure out what I want to do about the roof. Because I can take it one more up. Do I want to go one more up? Or do I just want to close that? You know what? I, I don't want to take it. I'll, I don't want to take it too up. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. And here's why. Let's go back up here because I want to put stuff up here. So that will work out perfect. So we take this row out and we're going to do the same thing here. And it's not going to... It's not going to interfere with what I'm doing here. And it's not going to detract from the overall look. And that's the, that's the great thing about playing with this. Here, and then this one comes out and everything, everything comes right in. We take this row of blocks out and we will finish this roof. I um, might need that because I am prone to making mistakes. So on here, because also in here is going to be scaffolding and for lighting and um, speakers, stuff like that. And I, I want all these to face the same way. See, like that one did not. I'm a stickler to that. And sometimes working with these blocks, you cannot always make it do what you want. And I'll show you that in a second. Okay, so there's the stage area. And back here, I'm not sure what I want to do about this. Do I want to do a window? Take out my helpers. You 
see, what I want to do is I want to carry the theme. Oh, see, I told you I'm prone to making mistakes. Yes, I am. So, and that's one of the blocks that I took out. Wow. There we go. I want to keep the theme going with the windows, even though I know I'm going to have a problem with the windows when I go to put in. So for right now, what I, all I'm going to do is put like a, um, like a DJ type thing in kind of like I did over at the stage area, which you can see off in some background here. There it is way over there. Make this look real, real nice. So I like that thing with the, I'm trying to concentrate. This takes utter concentration to set these <laughs> windows. I like that thing with the, with the using world edit to do the rings. And one of the easiest, tr easiest things to do is that when you put the rings and you mark your center stone, because that's going to be the center of where your diameter, your radius is going to be. And when figuring that out, look at that. And I'm going to elevate, you know what? I'm going to elevate that one block to, to give the impression of a stage. So when I did these rings, you notice that they sat flush in the floor because I put my block down here and labeled it. So when I created these rings, I just used a... You know, I, I went up. So if I want, if I want blocks three up with just a ring, I can do that. And wherever that block is, when you mark your, when you mark your center position and then go into world edit. Now, a lot of people, most people know this, but for anybody that that's new to world edit, um, cylinder. You know, here's obviously this is the material you want to use. This is the look direction X, Y, Z, or look. So obviously, I'd be looking up when I when I do that because I want it to go up or down. It doesn't matter. The radius I set a radius of fourteen. So if I wanted a radius of eight, how this works is this counts as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now you see where that is. We're going to put a little stone. This is my outer ring that was set to eight. So everywhere from this center point, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's how they, that's the center of your radius. And that's how you can, that's how you can figure out where to do that. So as you've seen, this was 21. And this was 10, this was eight. And I just, to keep everything uniform, I did like um, the original eight. I did another one of eight, another one of eight. Then I added nine and 10. And I could just keep going on and on and on until I get out to this outer ring. Uh, like I said, you, you really do have to look at your materials because see, some of this looks off a little bit but that can be tweaked. Um, and it's going to be a different color. This is like the, the, the pathway. Those rings keep everything in line. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to go over this with another material to give it a more smooth look instead of the roof look. I might just take that on the roof. And you can see some of the patterns don't match up. Like right here, here. And here, and I can't do anything about that because those are the ends, or they're the they're the the inside corners or outside corners, and it just can't do anything about that. However, if I take a block 
and it has to be a full block because I'm going to be hanging lights off of that, as you can see here. Um, you know, I can cover it up, which is most likely what I'm going to do. I just haven't picked the color. I don't want the same color as this. I might use um, a light gray to give it more height. Or I could just use this and just carry it all the way through because that doesn't, yeah, it does. It, it's going to monopolize the color. It needs a different color. So I could either, I can go a darker color or whatever. I'm not, I kind of like these lights better than these lights. But if I go back to, I think these were cat. These were castle, one of my favorite lights. No, lantern. The lantern, there it is. So if I take, I'm done with it. I tell you, I'm done with the roofs. I'm going back to my flat style roofs. Yes, I am. See how this would look. And I really do like this. Um, I'm trying to position one, two. I use this in, in a house as a like a futuristic lamp, or a, a, it could be an older style. Got to watch for falling glass. Ouch! <laughs> I had that on. So I do like I do like those better than this because they give out the same light. Always wear eye protection when breaking your lights. <laughs> that gives it more character, like a more believable. Both look good. I mean, you could do you could do in blocks of four too. Here's four, three, two, and then you could do one. I mean, you know, your imagination is the only thing that dictates of how your builds are going to look. But I definitely would not go below four. Did I do that? One. I think I actually did five. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. Yes, I did. I did five. And two, two, three, four. Looks a lot better. But these lights look good too. If this was thinner, and I think I do have a thinner pole. So, I don't know. So, that's a look at what I got going on so far. And I'm still working on, now I got to figure out what kind of chairs and tables I'm going to, I'm going to need because I would like a cloth chair instead of a wooden chair. Uh, what kind of tabletops I'm going to use. <laughs> this is, this is going to get kind of interesting. Then we have the, we have the stage area going on here. Um, that's not how you spell street. I kid you not. I just, my, the, the spelling errors are, if, if it wasn't for, if it wasn't for, uh, word processing and spell check, and that's going to be like, Our scaffold, my scaffolding for lights. And that gives a pretty good representation of, I might just do a half block because there's not going to, I can, I can finagle uh, whatever I'm going to put out there. So that gives a, a pretty accurate representation. Then I'm just going to, put some speakers out here. I can even hang some speakers. That's an idea. Hang the speakers. The flying array. Now you learn a new term. That's what a flying array is. Is speakers that are elevated above the stage. Very heavy. So that's a look at the restaurant. 
like I said, there's going to be an office in here for management. There's going to be a kitchen. There's going to be the hibachi grill over here, the bar for the restaurant and for the nightclub, um, custom inserts in here, which are going to, I might use marble and obviously doorways. Here's going to be the front desk with the seating area here for people that are waiting or they could wait in, in the uh, lounge. There's a patio off the back, which is a really, really cool feature. I might put, you know, I could put one or two tables out here just to give the impression. And <laughs> again, I'm going to beautify this back area with some uh, cool landscaping. And also, this needs, I need to um, put blocks under here. To give it more thickness, like I did over here with these are like struts. But that'll work. Because back here is going to be developed. There's going to be something back here also. I just haven't decided what it is going to be yet. And my way, my main worry is I did not want to take away from the circularness of the restaurant. And I can put I can put a tree over here, which would hide that. But I think the too high is okay yeah the chicken agrees now that the volume is too high so it, it works i think it i think it's got a great start i have to work on the colors and the roof one idea also would be to carry the same kind of theme to the other sides No, but actually to the front might make sense. So I'm going to work on that because if you could picture, it's, it's too big, but it would be a, there was an egg here. Where are you, Mr. Egg? There was a pic, um, there you are. Let's see if I get a chicken. Yes, look at that. Hi. And it immediately dies. Why? Why did... These are 10 pluses uh, mobs redo. Why? Why did it die? But it was good. It tasted good. So... <laughs> there you have it. I'm going to make this... I'm going to make this doorway more elo eloquent. Elo elo fancy. Yes. Fancy. <laughs> and there's going to be some shrubbery and some more uh, landscaping going on here. There's going to be some trees because this is like the uh, dividing line between the, the desert biome and, you know, I like grass everywhere. So, and now we're back where we started with the moon coming up. And uh, I'm really happy with how that turned out. The main thing is going to be the interior, pulling off the interior. And once the interior is done, that's going to take a while. So this might be a three-parter uh, because we have the kitchen and, you know, the appliances and then the kitchen and all the stuff in the center, you know, right around here. This is where all the cooking is going to go on. And then I have to put um, an office and then some kind of refrigeration to make it look believable. And I have to figure out what I'm going to do about stairway to get up to the second floor other than just using an elevator. So, yeah, I have, I have, um, hmm, that's a support beam, so that can't be used. I might actually put the elevator right here, and that won't look too bad, because this is the, this is, if I use my, my, um, diagonal for the nightclub, that will work. So those are the ideas that I'm going to be working on. And this racetrack might go away. It might stay, but it's not going to be stone. It's going to be, it's going to be a different type of material. Uh, it can be anything your heart desires, actually. I mean, that even looks good. Just something to give contrast. 
And then I don't, I might you just use uh, light gray carpeting throughout here. And that would look good also. So I have my work cut out for me. But that's going to do it for this episode. We have some lighting styles. There's going to be a huge chandelier here like in my other houses with, with the glass. That's going to be really, really cool. Doorway. The path might change. The stone for the path might change. But that's a real rich looking path. I might have some shrubs lining this area here. And, you know, there's going to be more trees. So now it's just making making everything fit in. The main building is done, as you can see. So now it's just getting everything believable and to play out. So that's going to do it for this episode. Um, thank you very much for watching. And as I go back through the parking lot, look at that. Have some lighting going up following the path going up that's going to be real cool when it's done so i'm really glad i started this first before going to the uh forestry and police building all right that's going to do it oh i know what i can do i can actually take these out these blocks out but not use windows kind of like a, what, what i did over at the cyan house where i'm just taking and I'm not going to use full blocks. I'm going to use half blocks. So that will work. I will work on that and report back. So that's going to do it. Thank you very much for watching. Um, just hit 280 subscribers. And which is. It just keeps going up. Which is fantastic. That means I'm doing something right. And go from there. So yeah. And it looks awesome. Look how it just sits back there in the area with the train station. All right, enough rambling. Thank you very much. Everybody have a fantastic day. The weather is beautiful in Chicago in the 70s. So I'm going to go uh, edit this down and enjoy the weather. And uh, until the next video, goodbye.